Welcome to Fixture Fridays, your favorite location for Fixture's education. Trying to sell an LED parking lot solution to replace high pressure sodium? The spectral power distribution of LED light sources is a key advantage and one we can use to tailor our proposal to the customer's needs. How do we do that, you ask? Well, as usual, when I put a question in your mouth, it's because I have the answer in mind. First, let's back up and talk about the human eye. Our eyes perceive light using rods and cones, to varying degrees depending on the lighting conditions. Those different lighting conditions are divided into three categories, and our eyes operate differently in each one. Photopic conditions are bright and well illuminated, like daylight. In this case, our eyes use primarily cone receptors to receive light. Scotopic conditions are very dark, with little to no light at all. Here, our eyes use primarily rod receptors to receive light. The middle ground are mesopic conditions, when light levels are low, such as when the moon is out at night or in a parking lot. As you might expect, our eyes use a more balanced mix of rods and cones under mesopic conditions. But here's the thing, lighting standards rely on illuminance levels, foot candles, which are based on our eyes working in photopic conditions. That's right, parking lots are a prime example of mesopic conditions the lighting recommendations are based on photopic. And here's the rub. High pressure sodium produces lots of long wavelength light. Lots of yellow and orange. That's great for the cones in our eyes, but not the rods. The rods, which we're using more heavily at night, actually work better with short wavelength light. Lots of blue and green. Good LED light sources are much more balanced than high pressure sodium but they tend to produce more blue than other wavelengths. Guess what that means? Yup. When compared to high-pressure sodium, LED lighting appears brighter to our eyes in a parking lot than the foot candles would suggest. Knowing that, we can tailor our proposal to the customer's needs. Are they most concerned with brightness and safety? Then we can match their HPS foot candle levels and know that the results will appear much brighter. Actually, perceived brightness goes up as much as 50%, not even taking into account the potential advantage of uniformity. Or maybe they are more concerned with energy savings. That seems more likely. In that case, we can decrease our foot candle levels and wattage while still maintaining perceived brightness. Studies have shown that white light can match or outperform high pressure sodium in brightness and safety, even with 30% lower illumination levels. That's the power of knowing your application. So, now that you know the advantage that LED wields over high pressure sodium in a parking lot, how will you use it? Make the lot brighter and safer than ever? Save as much energy as possible? Or maybe a bit of both? The choice is up to you, or customer. But it's a choice you get to help them make. The Lighting Research Center in New York is a pioneer in understanding and optimizing light, including this topic. Their studies were invaluable in making this video. For more on rods, cones, and wavelengths, you can visit their website. For info on products you can sell with this knowledge, or to ask us a question, visit our website.